Uh, okay, so let's go into uh, the Saints game because we got a little bit of a different look because we don't have Drew Brees. We've got Taysom Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Just reading Chris's comment. Yeah, I saw that too. Where? <laughs> Last one. Oh, the last one. whatever's in the cup must be <laughs> flat by now. <laughs> Brilliant, sir. Uh, all right, so what um, – you know, we, we kind of saw what – Taysom Hill could do in the last game, and Jess says it. We better not lose to a gadget quarterback. I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. And, I mean, he is like the ultimate gadget quarterback. Like mm-hmm. he's he's a mix of um, a gunslinger with a he. He's kind of like a a big. He's like a built Tyreek Hill. Like he can kind of do everything. Yeah, I mean yeah. that's. I guess that's that's a good For thing. A slower. Tyreek Hill, slower. Oh, both, I don't know. Both. It's a it's a good thing uh, for them, but also at the same time, it's you know we're gonna we're gonna bank off the inexperience that he has, and Fangio is the guy to do it. I mean, you saw what he did to Tua, and hopefully they can do the same thing. It's just uh, the Saints' defense right now is ranked what third in total yards, something like that. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, this game's going to depend on uh, basically what the defense can do against Alvin Kamara and Michael Thomas and even Emmanuel Sanders at that. Uh, oh, because, I forgot about that. Yeah, because those are pretty much where uh, Taysom Hill was throwing to last week and uh, their win against Atlanta. Not to mention that unlike Drew Brees, Taysom Hill can run with the freaking ball. So, uh, Well, he had 10 rushes last week. Yeah. Know. Yeah, so, they, they didn't really need to run him though. No. That that's the thing. Like no, but I'm saying in terms of escapement. So if yeah. he can, if even if the Broncos, because the the Saints' offensive line is is pretty good, but hopefully with the defensive line can contain if he decides to break out. Because you know, obviously, you we have to play Patrick Mahomes twice a year, and yeah. the one thing he's been pretty good at doing since he came into the league is every time the pocket collapses, he evades and he runs and he either throws it or or he runs for for yards. So hopefully uh containment is pre- is a big priority here. Uh I hope AJ Bouye can step up if if it's on him to uh cover Michael Thomas. I don't really see their their tight ends being a big problem. Denver did a pretty good job against the uh, the last couple of tight ends even against Gronk. So uh but basically it'll come down to him. Uh the Saints are pretty beat up on on defense. They didn't have uh the Sean um what is it, Lattimore, Lattimore uh, last week? So uh, it, if they can, if Drew Lock can not throw interceptions, and you know the running game can keep being the running game that we saw, and the Saints just playing at mile high is is an already a, an automatic advantage for Denver. Uh, Bronco Frank saying, "I feel like our defense is better against mobile QBs." Um. Blitz package wise, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's the case. Um, I think with healthy um, corners, yeah. Um, Bryce Callahan, he's questionable, but he had he had a full practice, mm-hmm. so I think he's okay. Uh, mm-hmm. But you kind of wonder uh, if AJ Boye is still dealing with something because he he didn't look right in that last game. Like no. that's not that's not the AJ Boye we've been used to watching. No. I, yeah, I think he's still struggling with whatever's wrong with him. I don't even know. Yeah, if he would have looked back on that 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 touchdown he gave up, he could have easily batted that ball away. But unfortunately, he didn't. I don't know where his head was. He he didn't even look back, so he didn't know where the ball was, and the, right. the wide receiver caught the ball before he could make a play. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, just mentioning the, the questionable, you know, I feel like that's overblown a lot just because probable is no longer an option. So if someone has a, you know, a paper cut, they're going to be listed as questionable if they're on the injury report. Yeah. So uh, I think a lot of it has to do with who's, you know, how they're, how they're practicing. And, you know, one of the nice things is that we get a chance to, to see that. So um, like you said, Callahan, uh, you know, a full, uh, you know, full practice today, Duke Dawson, full practice today, Josie Jewel full, um, you know, it looks like uh, Judy is limited today, but 
you know, I expect him to, I expect him to play. We definitely need him. Yeah. Well, and it also looks like Dotson and Glasgow are both, uh, they were limited. So we'll, we'll see if they go as well. Um, but Rich brought up another point saying that um, Taysom Hill hasn't gotten hit a lot. Uh, and I, yeah. as a quarterback, I agree, but he's been coming in all season and last season uh, being split out wide, being a receiver, being a running back. So, I mean, he gets hit, just not as a quarterback. So, yeah. you know, you kind of wonder if, if he does get pressure from Chubb on one side and Reed on the other, you know, is he going to be flailing the ball around? Is, is I mean, are there is there going to be a higher chance of fumbles from Taysom, or you know, is we it going to be so. a, we're chasing him everywhere? I think Sean. That. I think Sean Payton scares me the most because Sean Payton is a pretty really smart offensive guy, and he might. I'm surprised he didn't run any of that uh, wildcat or two quarterback uh, plays that he runs with Drew, Drew, uh, with Drew and uh, Taysom Hill. So we might see some of that uh, trickery uh, this Sunday, but if if like like you said, if they can contain Taysom Hill and force him to throw, because from what we saw last Sunday, Taysom Hill's deep throw isn't that good. He underthrew a ball that if Emmanuel Sanders doesn't come back for it, literally falls like five yards behind him. So if they can or if they can do that at least, you know, force him to throw the ball away or, for, or you just get three and outs. Then just basically throw Taysom Hill off of uh, off uh, off balance. Yeah, and I think a lot of it's going to come down to if Taysom Hill is accurate throwing on the run, because it seems like he's one of those guys that's going to want to run no matter what. Right. So mm -hmm. if if we can blitz and get him outside the pocket, is he accurate or is he not? If he's not, no problem. I think I think we win the game. If he is, we could be in for a long game. 